Yo, what's going on people and the mid-season reinforcement patch notes are now live, so let's jump right into that. Uh, if you hear any background noise, that is rain falling, so I apologize for that. I can't stop the weather, so hopefully my voice is louder than the raindrops. So these are the changes coming in patch 4.2. So first of all, we have the balance changes. Um, they've been talking about nerfing Ella, so here's what's going to change. Uh, she's going to get a reduced magazine size on the Scorpion Evo from 50 bullets down to 40. They said they'll monitor this change and if this is not enough then they will look into nerfing Ella further and her concussion mines are also going to be nerfed. Uh, the concussion time on her mines are going to move from 7 seconds down to 4 seconds um, and they will also be disabling the sprint so if you get hit by her mines you will still sprint but uh, your movement speed and the speed that you turn are still going to be reduced and the sight and your hearing those are still going to remain at 7 seconds. Uh, personally, I think this is a pretty okay nerf. I thought they were going to go overboard with it. Um, I thought her gun should have been reduced to 40 bullets a long time ago. And Ella is one of my mains, so I'm not being biased. Um, this seems like a pretty balanced nerf so far. Her mines are being reduced. Um, you can now sprint. You can, uh, you're going to move slower and you're going to turn slow, but at least you'll be able to sprint when you get hit by one of her mines. Uh, I always thought that should have been the case because even when you get hit by Echo's drone, you can still sprint. So, um... Oh, I forgot to mention that the TTS will also be going up tomorrow, so you can go and try out these changes. That is the 11th of January, Thursday. Uh, these mine changes will also be affecting Zofia as well, so both of their mines will be nerfed. Next, Ashes R4C is also going to receive a nerf. Uh, yes, a lot of people are going to be happy for this. Uh, the damage is going to be reduced from 41 down to 39, as you can see on the charts here. Uh, we have the old damage model and new model so if you just have regular um, barrel attachments you can see here uh, the standard drop off range is going to be 25 so we're going to move from 41 to 39 and then after 25 meters the damage drop off is going to stop at 25 from 35 meters to 40 meters if you're using a suppressor on the gun the damage is going to move from 36 to 25 meters and the lowest damage is going to drop off uh, down to 21 that is between 35 to 40 meters and if you're using the heavy barrel this is going to move from 39 and only drop off at 35 and this is between 35 and 40 meters so i will definitely uh look into using her heavy barrel now uh who else is receiving a buff capital's power 308 is actually going to get a buff he's going to get this buff because they said uh, he's not being picked enough so they're going to buff his assault rifle because it's too weak right now and they are going to try to figure out what to do with his gadget so his assault rifle is going to move from 43 damage and get a buff all the way up to 48 that is five whole damage points it's, it's that's a lot so his gun is now going to be on par with iq's uh, 552 commando and the gun will also be getting a uh, recoil uh, reduced so yeah capital is gonna get a big buff and if we look at the charts here so if you have a normal barrel attachments the damage is gonna be 48 all the way up to 25 meters and then it's gonna drop off down to 29 um between 35 and 40 meters and we look at the suppressed chart here um capital's rifle actually does more damage suppressed than ash's gun though so the damage when your gun is suppressed is going to be 42 all the way up to 25 meters and it's going to drop off down to 25 between 35 and 40 meters and lastly if you have an, an extended barrel damage is going to be 48 all the way up to 25 and only drop off down to 39 at 35 to 40 meters so that that's yeah that's a pretty big buff to capital's assault rifle uh, Twitch is also going to be receiving a nerf through her drone, the shot drone ammo. Uh, they think she's too strong right now, so one of the possible nerfs they're looking into is taking away some of the ammo. So it's going to move from 15 shots down to 5. Um, so they want players to make uh, better decisions in terms of which gadgets they want to destroy. Um, I understand this right now because Twitch would... Twitch could sometimes replace Thatcher, like her drone would just go in a room and take out everything, ADS devices, bandit batteries, cameras, uh, goo mines, she, she does it all. So uh, I, I can understand this nerf and also some people, myself included, would just use the drone to annoy uh, other defenders. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Uh, also bandits barbed wire, he's gonna get one taken away so it's gonna move 
uh, to two barbed wire down from three. Uh, Legion is also going to get a pretty unexpected buff. Uh, the Gumain refill timer, this is going to move down to 30 seconds uh, from 35. Uh, they say he's in an okay place right now, but he can use a slight buff. By reducing the refill timer, it will encourage players to stay alive, you know, the longer uh, legions stay alive, the more traps he can put down and strengthen the team's defenses. So that seems like a pretty uh, good buff to legion. And here are other improvements. Uh, I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'm just going to skip this part right here. This has to do with um, anti-aliasing and rendering resolution and all that. And if you want to read more, you can click here. So I'm going to leave a link to that section in the description box down below. Um, bomb, the bomb game mode is going to get some UI changes. So what they're doing is adding icons above players that are interacting with the diffuser. Uh, if a player in your team is um, diffusing, then you'll see an animated icon appear over them. And if your teammate is in the process of planting the diffuser, uh, the actual match timer is going to change to... The amount of time it takes for them to plant. Uh, they're also tidying up the uh, spectator camera and making it look a little better UI wise. Um, so you can clearly see by the screenshot here um, on the left side you can see everyone's gadgets better and their ammo count and at the top you can see everyone's health. Um, the white icon I guess is displaying who you're watching right now so um, they're making the information a lot easier to digest and you can see what's going on. And lastly are the bug fixes. I'm not going to read those off so I'll leave a link in the description to the patch notes. The one that I will read off is a shield exploit. Um, basically when you can pull out a shield in front of an operator and it kind of you know stops them from being shot. That has now been fixed. I came across that bug. Uh, people using that once or twice kind of confused. But uh, yeah that's now out of the game and that is it for the patch notes all the rest are bug fixes uh my overall thoughts uh this seems like a pretty balanced patch so far um we don't have a release date for this patch they said they will uh depending on the feedback and the data they get from technical test servers then um we will get a date again the test servers are going live tomorrow the 11th so you can go and try out the game with these changes so that's been it for this video if you found this helpful you can leave a like or share it around it helps the channel grow and comment down below what are your thoughts on some of these nerfs and buffs to these operators and gameplay changes subscribe for more rainbow six years content and uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video